Looking to our forecast now, it'll be dry outside today, but Felicia, will we even make it into the 50s, you think? I mean, you're going to be lucky if you do, and I know at this point it's, we're supposed to usually make it into the 50s, and that's a normal thing for October, but today Mother Nature is just fueling a bunch of cold air from the north, and that's why we are going to stay chilly. So Pittsburgh's at 47. We're seeing 45 in Butler, 41 in Franklin. Nowhere's in the 30s quite yet. That'll happen tonight, though. Our satellite and radar is showing a couple of showers that are around. These will stay pretty light and spotty as we head through the rest of the morning. And we were noticing on a couple of our cameras that there are some raindrops on the road. So if you do encounter a slick road, maybe take it a little bit slower. But temperatures will hang out in the mid to upper 40s the entire day. It's one of those days where the temperature is just not really going to budge too much. We're going to stay mostly cloudy. And then towards the end of the day, as we head closer to sunset, that's when we'll start to see more sunshine filtering through. But it'll be at the end of the day, so we can't really soak it in. But the rain chances will stay isolated through the next uh, about say a few hours and then by tomorrow morning we shouldn't have to worry about any kind of rain. So maybe if you were thinking about taking some foliage pictures for today, we are currently experiencing our peak color and cloudy days are the best type of forecast. It's, it's the best type of forecast that we can give for those pictures. 34 degrees is your low tonight with decreasing clouds and we're going to expect that widespread frost come the morning hours. So that's why we have declared it a first alert just for the morning hours and then by the afternoon we should be warming up. So there's this couple of spotty showers there on future cast through the afternoon and then we should calm down by the evening with sunshine trying to make it through and then by tomorrow morning we are mostly clear and we should stick stick around with a couple of clouds leading into Tuesday's forecast. So not too bad to start off for the work week. It's just going to be a cold morning start where we need those coats. We're going to be in the 30s for lows for both Monday and Tuesday, and then the rest of the week we're actually going to experience a warm up. So everyone is going to see the widespread frost and even possibly a hard freeze going into tomorrow morning and then looking ahead into Tuesday morning. Only a few select towns could have that potential for frost, but the freeze is not looking nearly as likely. Highs today around 50 and then tomorrow 58 and then we're back into the low 70s for Tuesday through Friday. So if you wanted a warm up, well, here you go. But then we look ahead to next week, the following week that includes the Halloween holiday. It's trending below average. So if you were thinking about what should I do with the kiddos for their costume, they might need a couple extra layers in the long johns underneath so that way they stay warm. 50 degrees is your high temperature for today and then we have that frost for tonight. A couple places could potentially see a hard freeze, but then we lead into the rest of the work week with very warm conditions. We're back into the 70s starting on Tuesday, 72 for both Wednesday and Thursday, and then a cold front will start to usher in by Friday. So highs during the day will be around 73 degrees. The showers will be here and there, but then by next weekend, that's when we're going to start noticing temperatures are backing off. We're going into the 60s and even looking at our long range models for the week of Halloween, we're going to have highs in the 50s again.